Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our small town church run food pantry and they are open twice a month, just those two days a month. Um, and so you come in and sit down, you, you sign in, sit down and wait your turn. When it's your turn, you get a regular shopping cart like from Walmart and you get to walk through their one room um, uh, food pantry and you get to pick and choose whatever you want. So you get to choose what your family will use. Now, it's not like a you get to take home as much as you want. It's a, um, like if they have a freezer full of frozen things, you might get to choose two things out of that freezer. If it's uh, boxes of cereal, you might get to pick two boxes of cereal, those kind of things. So um, they do have limits, but you get to choose out of the four, five, eight different types of, of cereal which box you choose. So that's nice because it makes it to where you can choose things that you know that your family is going to use and leave behind the things that you know that you won't, which is awesome because a lot of times we choose things that other people might not because my family tends to be pretty adventurous with trying new things. Um, but then also we might choose um, something that um, other people... Um, yeah, like I said, other people might not choose the items that we choose because they're a little different or a little weird. And a lot of times because of that, she'll give us extra of something because she's like, yeah, nobody else is taking this. So, all right, uh, let's jump in and see what we were blessed with today. <laughs> Sorry. I have a little girl in the background who is putting on big rubber boots with a princess dress on. <laughs> <laughs> and that tells you 100% of her personality. She is a cowgirl princess through and through. Okay, so we got quite a bit of fresh fruits and veggies this time, which is nice. We got this um, thing of big strawberries. It's called a gem pack long stem strawberries. These would be perfect for um, if you wanted to make like chocolate covered strawberries. I'm not. I'm just going to eat them. Uh, a bag of potatoes. I'm going to show the produce right quick. We got three of these um, slightly wrinkly bell peppers. That's fine. They're still going to taste good. And then quite a few. These were essentially take as many as you want of these little baby oranges. So I just picked up like two big hand like scoops of them. Um, and she was like, are you sure you don't want more? Um, but I was like, yeah, I think that's probably all that my kids will get eaten before they go bad because they are a little starting to, to show their age. Uh, we also got a thing of oven roasted turkey lunch meat and then a chef salad that is totally going to be my lunch today uh a thing of this was one of those things that we got to choose and they had a bunch of options and it was a big huge toss-up between these and a package of bacon because <laughs> bacon is something that i don't buy super often because of cost um, but I could not turn down, there's about, it says about 25 links in here, um, fully cooked, uh, sausage links for breakfast. I could not turn that down because that's something that makes mornings easy around here. We got to pick up a handful of these, um, my kids have really liked these super fruit, um, popsicles and they're just about out of them. So I'm going to get them while I've got them. A uh, thing of unsweet vanilla almond milk, which was perfect because we're out of milk. And uh, three more of these um, pizzas. These ended up being really good, decent tasting pizzas for what they are, for being <clears throat> what looks like probably pretty cheap pizza. Um, they, they ended up being good. So, all right, two things of canned peas, two things of fruit cocktail, a thing of pasta sauce. Uh, these were, she's like, nobody else is taking them. Please take these. Sliced hearts of palm. Tell me what to do with them. It says to add to salads or stir fry. I'm assuming that they might have kind of the texture of water chestnuts. Maybe like they're crunchy. I don't know. I've never tried them before. So tell me what to use with them. They're decent carb content. I know you can do hearts of palm um, pasta that I've tried before and it was good. It's just bland, not really much taste. So tell me what to do with those. Uh, <clears throat> there was a miscellaneous kind of baking shelf. So I picked up some more of the mini peanut butter chips and some more of the, um, chocolate, just regular. They're technically dark chocolate, but they're all good. Um, hang on just a second. Yep. Just had a kid come and snitch a popsicle <laughs> once they heard that they had them. They just had lunch. So, um, all right. They had option of picking up four of these or a box of mac and cheese. I did these. These are like the individual, um, kind of like the Easy Mac. 
only just without the bowl that you put it in the bowl so um, I will put those in the snack box for the kids some turkey gravy four things of individual orange juice thing of creamy peanut butter and a carton of bone broth uh, drinks wise we got to pick out four individual drinks so I picked these um, sparkling mineral water and then this is a case I think probably 24 of it's just canned water um, but I figure for emergency having emergency water on hand we are on well water so if the power goes out we lose water um, so having something like that on hand would be extremely helpful um, it's also something that my husband drives a semi truck so he could take those in his semi truck uh, baby food wise my youngest is four years old but um, she still loves these squeezy pouches and usually has one a day she slowed down some and then they still have cases and cases of these and their best by date is January so um, they obviously need used I mean it's the best by date there's nothing wrong with them they're just like a peach yogurt um, and my kids really like them I've got a couple of the kids that like them and have them for snacks so uh, and then they still have quite a few of the things from that were donated from CVS um, I went ahead and picked up the last four bottles of um, this uh, probiotic um, digestion thing I have found that these are actually helping on meals like if I have um, hard-boiled eggs or broccoli the things that tend to cause bloat um, I've been taking one of those and it is I'm noticing a difference so hey hey uh, one of these I think this is kind of similar to um, Oh my gosh, I can't think of them. It's been so long since we've had them. It says to compare to the airborne effervescent tablets. I'm thinking of the, oh my gosh, I can't think of them. If I think of them, I'll put it on the screen. But um, they're like little tubes. And these are nice just having on hand if you have a kiddo that's sick that just doesn't feel like eating much of anything um, <clears throat> or just needs encouragement to drink some more water putting one of those in and then it's kind of packed with all kinds of different vitamins um, there if you want to pause it and take a look at it plus the carb content isn't as bad as so many of their drink mixes ashwagandha is something that I take for stress so glad to get that I picked up a bottle of this before um, and I'm I feel like it's helping the ends of my hair to look a little healthier so uh, yeah I went ahead and picked up a couple more plus it just kind of makes it less frizzy is what I'm noticing so um, I picked up some more of those and then they had cat and dog food this time which was awesome and like dog treats that kind of thing um, we have outside cats and we have a mama cat that has kittens every year yes I know go get her fixed um, that it's not we don't have an issue with with finding homes for her kittens because everybody around here wants a good um, barn cat as a mouncer so every year we have no issue getting rid of the she had three kittens this year um, so we will not have any issue getting finding homes for them um, and then they can fix them if they choose to we choose to that one cat having three four kittens every year is is not a problem it's the the cats in town anyway they're you know um, what's my Bob Barker have your pet spayed and neutered um, <laughs> <laughs> we do all of our other ones we just have this one mama cat that we that, that we leave be anyway uh when the kittens are old enough to be transitioning from milk into solid food um, i like to have some cans of soft food around for them to get an idea of what of um eating solid food is going to be like we feed our cats dry cat food but um having some cans of that around so that they can um, make that transition is nice. So I was excited to see those. Those will just go on a shelf and wait for a month or so until they are ready for um, solid food. They're adorable. They're cute as can be. Love them. My kids all love having kittens every spring. So yeah. Okay. So that is round one. I always want to get that cold stuff done first so I can get it put away. So I'm going to get that put up and then I will be back with round two, which is snacky stuff which is what we get a lot of all right round two like i said snacky stuff um there is a loaf of bread when we got home i made peanut butter jelly sandwiches for the kids so i don't have that to show because we already used half of it <laughs> uh an entire box 36 count of 
chocolate bars. They are best by this month. So, or last month, sorry. So that's why they're there. But like seriously, an entire box of them. I might end up taking these to church and giving them um, to the youth group to hand out as like prizes or something like that just because I don't know that we'll use all of those. We'll see. Um, my kids don't generally eat full-size candy bars on a regular basis. So yeah, we'll see. Um, and then one more of the score. Uh, these uh, we have crunched up and put on ice cream and it's really good. Some random granola bar type things, some flaming hot beef jerky. Uh, you could pick a box of cereal or 10 of these. And so I chose 10 of these. Uh, the kids just like them for snack. And then also, um, like if we do backyard camping, it makes for a nice quick and easy breakfast, that kind of thing. Um, so it's just these cinnamon toaster cereal individual um, things that you just put the milk in it and go. Uh, they have this. It was on a shelf of take as much as you want because it is expired. Um, and so it's uh, this Kashi blueberry granola and we have been using it. Some of the kids will eat it just like cereal, um, but more they've been using it as granola on yogurt. Uh, some snack size Reese's cups. Some of these um, Unreal M&M dupes is essentially what they are. Um, they are, they don't have any artificial colors or flavors. Um, so that's nice. A thing of microwave popcorn. A, she gave me like two huge handfuls of just a mix of everything. There's chocolate, there's high chews, there's um, suckers, a little bit of everything, like I said. Oh, these kind of went with the granola bars. They're like little mini ones. Some honey sticks, which those are nice for adding into tea. Uh, these are peanut butter and jelly. So they're peanut butter filled little wafer sticks and then with a jelly on them. One of my kids is just going to be very, very happy at snack time, I'm telling you. Um, and then chips, a bag of the individual bags of the Pirate's Booty that's the white cheddar. These are so good. Um, I had braces twice. Um, and these are one of the things that you can have uh, if you have braces instead of having like regular popcorn. And they didn't have these fun flavors when I had them. It was like butter and plain. Um, so, yeah, I, I I wish they had had these around when I was had, had braces. Um, this bag is full of mostly these is what's on the bottom. And it was take as much as you want. And that's because they are expired in February. Um, no, they didn't. Why are they? Well, no, I bet it's... No, it's 2025. Huh. I don't know why. I guess maybe they just have a bunch of them. And then the three different flavors of the Skinny Pop um, in there as well. And then they had shelves. They had four shelves and you could pick one off of each shelf. So we did the honey mustard and onion pretzel pieces. There's some barbecue potato chips. Uh, some salt and vinegar um, pork rinds for me. And then some hot uh ones for I've got a couple of kids that like the spicy things not overly spicy but I figured they could try those and see if they like those if they do then uh Aldi sells a spicy one I just can't handle the spicy anymore maybe I need to try something spicy with one of those um bloat probiotics and see if that works generally the 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 spicy stuff doesn't make me feel bloated it just makes my stomach hurt so that is everything um, yeah, if you need help, I'm going to do my spiel here. If you need help, go and get help. That's what these places are for. Um, as you can see, a large quantity of these things are things that are overstocked, stocked, or, um, they are, uh, expired or about to expire. Those kind of things. You are keeping food from the dumpster while feeding your family, sorry, there's a bee in my house behind me, um, while feeding your family and helping you stretch your budget in these crazy expensive grocery times. So if you need help for a little while, for a long while, for a lot, for a little, whatever it is, go get help. That's what it's there for. This is funded by your tax dollars, some of it, but a lot of this is just grocery stores overstocked and um, donating their expired items. So yeah, if you need help, 
go get it. It's there. They want to love on you. They want to help you. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to finish maybe putting this stuff away. And then I'm going to go have me some lunch. So, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.